So I chose the text, Is there a universal mentalism? Of mentalism is said that it is the mind's internal or private language and it makes thought possible. It is universal and humans are born with it. Mentalism consists of symbols which can be combined by rules of mental syntax. When there would be no mentalism, we could not learn the meaning of words in any other language, spoken or sign. The goal of language is to convey ideas. We looked at the language as instinct teaches and they already talked about the universal grammar that was introduced by Chomsky, but they also said that the human mind was pre-equipped with a universal language of thought, called mentally. The first man who introduced that was Jerry Fodor, and he claims that it is because of mentally that the meanings of any language can be learned at all. Up until now, we didn't mention the word meaning. That's because thought doesn't imply the same as meaning. If it would, Language, language would determine thought and people wouldn't be able to think without language. But there is lots of evidence that it isn't language that makes thought possible. If you look at babies or squirrel monkeys or other species, they are all capable of having thought processes and form complex concepts, all in the absence of language. The question uh, we need to ask is how to how do we develop mental concepts? The language as instinct says that we are born with a mental operating system that lets us represent ideas and mental states. If you think that mentalism is a part of the human mind, you will have to make some assumptions. You need to accept that the mind is essentially a computer, functioning and behaving like a, like a large-scale information processor, but this isn't true. Symbols are linked to mentalities, but the symbols that make up the universal language of thought don't have to correspond to things in the world and in our experience. For example, symbols are used to represent objects like, for example, a table, and emotions like love, for example. But they will use a logical language to do that instead of the experiences and mental states we felt, we felt at that moment. The difficulty of it all is the nature of the human concept. These concepts are the brands of our mental life. We need to see the concepts as, ab as abstract logical relations. Um, this is all in contrast with the language as us to, uh, with the language as instinctives that states that concepts are directly grounded in the experience they derive from and are related to. A doorknob will be like our experience of it because concepts are stored in the brain region that process perceptual experiences. Mentally and the computer of mind. Uh, a reason to believe that there is such a thing as mentally is our ability to think and draw inferences even in the absence of spoken language. When people suffer from a brain trauma, for example, in the broadcast area and suffer a catastrophic loss of language, they are still able to think. There's also an experiment with five-month-old babies we found to be capable of mental arithmetic. Um, this made use of the so-called habit habituation effect. That me this means that when a baby becomes bored with a scene or with something, uh, it begins to lose interest and it looks away searching for something more interesting. And um, not only pre-linguistic humans are capable of thought, other species can do that too. They can draw inferences from a sequence of events or observations to reason about another aspect of the sequence. To make it clear, so when I tell you that my sister is older than me and that my brother is older than my sister, you will conclude that my brother is also older than me. We call this type of reasoning transitive in Inference. Transitive inference. So, where for meaning? Uh, so where does meaning come from? For example, how do we know that the word cat matches the idea of a four legged furry creature with a tail and says meow? We could say we learned it from our caretaker, but the question remains how did he or she come by that meaning from their caretaker? We could ask the same question, but there will be no clear answer. 
language uh, the language as instinct thesis says that mental is the basis of our is the basis of uh, is the basis because it allows us to acquire a meaning to begin with. So we could say that this pre-existing language of thought is the reason that children can grow up and learn to use words in their mother tongue. It's like Fodor said, one can't learn language if one doesn't know language. Men um no. Um yeah. Challenge uh, challenge for the mentally story is to explain where meaning comes from. You can't say that there is such a thing as mentally because it provides language with semantic grounding. What grounds mentally? There are three problems that are um, occurring. First of all, we have the problem of symbol grounding. If mentally consists of symbols that relate to states of affairs, like, for example, a cat, um, how do uh, they get their meaning? In mentally, they are related to the thing they represent. There is no relationship between the symbol and the thing it represents. In the real world, the mentally symbol on its own is insufficient to tell you what a cat is. The second problem concerns how symbols in mentally are interpreted. Thoughts are internal representations representation in our head and how do they get interpreted as representations of whatever they are representative of. We need a miniature version of ourselves inside our head to do the interpreting in, uh, for us. It is a circle, a circular argument like the caretaker, and it will always fail. And the last problem is the syn syntax-centric nature of mentally. Mentally has rules which operate on the symbols to produce grammatical well-formed thoughts. Here we assume that we can separate syntax from meaning, but that isn't true. To conclude, we can say that mentally involves symbols that aren't grounded and they are stripped from the semantic context. It must be clear that syntax and meaning are not separable. When we try to separate them, mentally fails in doing what it's supposed to do, namely providing a scaffolding for meaning that supports complex thoughts and so the acquisition of language.